You don't get discipline from your parents, from your grandparents, from your older brothers and sisters. You don't get discipline from an external source. You have to get it from you. That's what self-discipline is. You get it from yourself. You get it from you. So th there's people from every possible background, from no parents to crazy parents to, you know, drug addicted parents to super squared away parents and everywhere in between on that spectrum that are completely disciplined people more disciplined than anyone I know. It doesn't come from your parents. You don't inherit it. And there's another piece here. It's called ownership, right? It's called ownership. And if you're, if you want to blame other people for the problem, and I say this all the time, if you don't take ownership of the problem, the problem's not going to get solved. So if you blame your parents for not having raised you in a disciplined environment, you're not going to solve that problem. You're looking at your parents saying, if you would have done a better job being more disciplined for me, I would be more disciplined now. So that means that means you can't do anything. The fact of the matter is it's wrong. You actually can do something. And it doesn't matter what, how your parents raised you and brought you up. You can have the discipline you need to decide to do it. Discipline is a discipline that only a few are disciplined enough to have yeah right and I, I i think that is one profound when you think about it the discipline is a discipline that only a few are disciplined enough to have <clears throat> but two the few who have it weren't born with it magically acquired it through consistent work in an area <clears throat> for me it's literally been something that separated me and my companies from competition. It's improved my marriage. It has, at 47, I'm in the best shape of my life. As a father, I'm consistently there for my kids. So all these things are a byproduct of discipline. And when I think about all the areas of my life when I was younger, that I was like, oh man, I failed at that. Oh, I, I wasn't good at that thing. It was just a lack of discipline. And, lack of consistency follow through on eighth thing that helped me develop this characteristic of sticking through it and to it no matter what i think it's pretty self-explanatory the more discipline you have in your life the more freedom you're going to have in your life all those things that are hard to do all those things that take discipline those are the things you need to do I just turn off my mind and do whatever it is I'm, I need to do. You know, I think people are always looking for some sort of, you know, remedy or some shortcut that's going to make them be able to do things that are hard easier, but no, hard things for a reason. So they're going to be hard. If they were easy, everyone would do them. And if something's hard to me, it's fine. I don't care. I'm just going to do it anyways. that the reason discipline is hard to maintain is because it is hard to maintain. That's what makes discipline hard. It's hard. And if you hear me claim that discipline is easy for me, then straight up, that's just my ego talking. That's what that is. Because I'm unfortunately, just as human as everyone else. And it is work to maintain the discipline. That's what it is, work. Holding the line, maintaining the standard, giving no slack, none. That's the discipline. That's the discipline and it is hard. And if there's one thing I would say that does make it easier, it's to envision what it feels like when you're done. 
what it feels like after you've worked out or you've held the line on your food intake or you've pushed through some monotonous project that you have to do and all those things when they're done they feel good and contrary to that envision what you will feel like later when you let the discipline slack you know the feeling feeling weak and defeated and you know that you're falling behind so get to know those two different types of feelings and ask yourself which one you want to feel in 10 minutes or in a half an hour when when the thing is done when the discipline has been implemented remember what that feels like and then remember that those minutes and those hours they turn into weeks and months and years and holding the line in those critical minutes will put you in an infinitely better place physically and mentally if you maintain the discipline so work through the weakness fight through the temptation hold the line hold the line maintain the discipline it is not easy but it is worth it if you want to make progress in your life you got to have discipline mm -hmm. that's how you get there discipline is the root of all good qualities yeah I mean, what 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 are you going to get without discipline? Are you going to be in good physical shape without no. discipline? Are you going to be financially successful without discipline? No. Are you gonna Are what? you gonna become more intellectually powerful without discipline? No. Be really intentional with what it is that you want. Like, if your subconsciously have told yourself, like, man, I'm just a lazy person. Like, you know, maybe you don't have to say it outward. So if you're subconsciously telling yourself, I'm a lazy person, or I'm the kind of person that kind of gives up, I've got no work ethic, that gives up easily, then you will always show up lazy. You will always show up and give up when things get a little tough. If you start saying that my identity is that I'm going to be a disciplined human, I'm going to be a disciplined woman, I'm going to be a disciplined man. Once you take on that identity, now you have to do the things that discipline requires. And discipline doesn't care if you're tired. You're tired, do it anyway, right? Discipline says, oh, you don't, you, don't, you don't feel good. Well, do it anyway. Discipline says, it's raining outside and it's cold and it's windy. Do it anyway. It becomes the identity. I'm a disciplined man. To do anything outside of what a disciplined man would do makes me an irresponsible man, makes me a weak man. And I don't want to be an irresponsible, weak man because our country already has too many of those, which is why we're eroding as a country. And so the identity change, along with the clarity of what you want to, like, how do you want to be seen? How do you want to show up? Like, not everyone has to show up as Ed Milet and Tim Grover and Andy Frisilla. Show up as the version of you that you want to show up with. But it's so important to be able to decide who is it that you are, be very specific about what you want, be intentional about becoming that person, and then you all of a sudden you're disciplined, and you're like, look at me, I'm an example of humanity. I always say that discipline is the root of all good qualities, but you have to absolutely apply it to things outside of just waking up early. It's, it's everything. It's working out every day, making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier. Discipline is eating the right foods to fuel your system. It, it's about disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. It's about having the discipline to control your ego so your ego doesn't get out of hand and control you. It's about 
treating people the way you would want to be treated. And, and doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do, but that you know will help you or help your team. It's about facing your fears. It takes discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road to do what's right for yourself and for other people. It's so often the easy path, the easy path that calls to us to be weak for that moment, to break down for that moment. To give in to the desire and the short-term gratification. But the discipline will not allow that. The discipline calls for strength and fortitude and will. It won't accept weakness. It won't tolerate another breakdown. The discipline can seem like it's your worst enemy. But the reality is, discipline is your best friend. It will take care of you like nothing else can. And it'll put you on that path. The path to strength and health and intelligence and happiness. And most importantly, It'll put you on that path to freedom.